Hi guys, Pop Stitch here. So today we will be unboxing Disneyland 65th Anniversary Mystery Minis. So tara, sumla na natin. So probably guys, you are wondering why these are called mystery minis, although you can already see what's inside them. So like for example, I'm gonna grab the first one that we have here. Here, number three, it's Mickey Mouse. So there, so it's not that mystery anymore because you know what's inside it. But this is what I've learned. If you're going to order them online, you won't be able to choose a specific character. So like, for example, I'm going to order three boxes online. Then I won't have any idea what I'm going to receive. Like it could be uh, two Mickeys and one mini or two minis and the one goofy or if i'm lucky i'm gonna get three different minis so yeah that's how it works and on the other hand if you're going in store like gonna check them in store then there you can choose whichever you want therefore i highly suggest that to buy them in store instead if possible so now let's start let's go back here to this mickey here i want you guys to have a really good look at this box because it's really special so there so this is what I'm saying. The Funko Mini is inside uh, this clear window box. So you can already see what's inside it. So it's not mystery anymore if you're going to buy it in store. Like what's written in here. It doesn't say anywhere that it's a mystery mini. It says here at the top corner Funko Minis if you could see that there so yeah so let's go through all of the details in this box because this one's really special like i've said so there at the top you can see it says disneyland resort uh, 65th anniversary and it has a number as well this one is number three and there at the bottom there's mickey mouse name it's a mickey mouse at the matterhorn bobsleds attraction and there on the other side on the left side there's mickey mouse picture there and on the other side there's the beautiful picture of their castle there and here at the back you can see all the other characters that we could get from these minis so number one is alice number two is cheshire cat number three this mickey mouse number four is Peter Pan, number five is Captain Hook, number six is Minnie Mouse, and number seven is Goofy. So here I'm gonna show you the top as well. So there it says Disneyland as well and with the number three and here at the bottom just the same as the other Funko Pops. Oh and another thing all of these boxes are sealed like this so that could serve as protector as well. So if it's up to you if you want to uh, remove it or not. So if you're a not out of the box collector, then it's better to just keep it. But for me, since I want to share the beauty of this pop, so I'm going to unbox it for you guys. So let's check this one out. Just gonna check if there's something written on the flaps of the box so that I will know where will I unbox it. Oh no, there's nothing. So, here. Yeah. Mmm. It has a smell. It smells good. Alright, so I suggest you open it, guys. <laughs> This even has a plastic insert like this. As far as I know, this is the first time that Funko released a mystery mini with a plastic insert. So please correct me if I'm wrong, guys. But yeah, as far as I know, this is the first time. So there. Oh, this one looks really cute. Have a closer look. Look at his face. It looks like he's really having fun there riding the Matterhorn bobsleds. So let's go through all of its details. So this is Mickey Mouse in his classic look wearing the red pants. But I just noticed there's something missing. The two buttons are not there at the front. Probably it's just hiding somewhere or it's just really hard to reach that part, like to paint something in there. Then going down on his ride, this one is called the Matterhorn bobsled. It has two colors, so it has white there at the top and green at the bottom half. And it looks like it's about to slide down an icy cliff. Right, so let's move on to the next one that we've got here. So have a guess, which one am I about to show you next? So here and it's Minnie Mouse of course because we've got Mickey then of course the next one is Minnie so there have a closer look at the box so just the same design as the Mickey Mouse's uh, box there the castle on the other side that's Minnie Mouse and there at the back yeah, just the same characters there so let's check this one out I 
forgot to show you this one, guys. It's the Minnie Mouse at Dumbo the Flying Elephant Attraction. So there you go. Right. Oh, this one looks cool. So it looks like there's two pups here because the Dumbo is there. So there, have a closer look. Look at her face. She also looks so happy, just like Mickey Mouse. This seems like they're just enjoying their ride. Oh, another thing that I noticed, all of them are riding on something. So it seems like it's a mini pup ride, not just a mini pup. So yeah, that's really cool. So let's go through all of its details. So Mini here is wearing a pink dress and with a pink ribbon, so that's matching. So I really like that idea, like dressing her in pink instead of the classic red and white polka dots because I like the combination of black and pink there. So that's really cool. I love that. I love black and pink. Then going down on the ride, look at Dumbo's face. He also looks so happy. He's smiling and it looks like he's looking at the rider. He's flapping his ears and it looks like he's about to go over a cloud, which is the base. So there, I really like this one. It's greatly detailed. So what can you say, guys? Just comment down below. So let's move on to the next mystery mini that we have here. It could be a mystery for you guys, but not for me anymore because I can see all of them. I already know who they are. So have a guess which one. So here you go. It's the number seven. It's Goofy. So it says it's Goofy at Dumbo, the flying elephant attraction. So just the same as a mini's ride. So there have a closer look at the box there at the side that's a goofy uh, photo there there at the back just the same as the mini and the mickey so let's check this one out So there you go. I'm really loving all of their facial expressions here. This is Goofy in his classic look. So there's the green hat on top of his head. And look at his ears. It looks like it's being blown by the wind. It looks like they are flying together with the Dumbo. Then going down here, there's his two front teeth there. And there's really a lot of tiny details in all of it this mini. So I can say Funko really did an amazing job with this one. What can you say? Then right there at Dumbo. So it just look exactly the same as Minnie Mouse. Just the same attraction. So it's Dumbo, the flying elephant attraction. Right, so let's move on to the next one that we've got here. This will be our fourth. So have a guess. Right, so here it's the number five. There it's Captain Hook. There, so there's his name there at the bottom. So it says Captain Hook at Peter Pan's flight attraction. So there, have a closer look at the box again. There, this is the only difference. They only differ on the picture on the side. So there's Captain Hook. So let's check this one out. I really love this idea, guys, putting the minis in a window box. So what do you guys think? I will definitely put this back in the box. So here, oh, this one's impressive, guys. This one's the most detailed one, I could say, among all of these uh, minis. So there's Captain Hook's big hat there and the white feather on the left side. Then going down here on his face, yes, you can see that mustache and look at his facial expression. He doesn't look impressed. <laughs> So what do you guys think? Then going down on his body. Oh, I can say this one's really different from the first three minis that we've unboxed. In here, you can see his full body. Unlike with the Goofy, Minnie, and Mickey, where you cannot see their legs. But in here, you can see he's wearing his full costume, his full attire. So there's the white thing there at the front of his chest. I don't know how you call that, guys. What do you call that? <laughs> then there's hook at his left hand, of course. Then here, I'm looking for his sword. No, actually, he's got a sword there. It's on his back. I'm not sure if you can see that, guys. I'm going to zoom it in for you. Is he wearing his boots? I'm not really sure, but he's wearing something there. It's colored gold. Look at that shape. How greatly detailed is it? There's the red sail there at the front and at the back. Going down on the ship's body, it really looks elegant with those gold things there, like the golden designs. Then with the black lining, 
Then lastly at its base, I can say it's greatly sculpted as well. So it looks like purple waves. So there you go. I really love this one. Right, so let's move on to the next mini that we have here. So have a guess, guys. So here, yeah, please let me know which mini do you want, do you want to get? So here, let me show it to you. Are you ready? Here you go. It's number four. It's Peter Pan. So it's Peter Pan at Peter Pan's flight attraction. So there on the other side, that's Peter Pan's photo. And like what I've said, all of the others have the same design, except for the photo on the side. So let's check this one out. This one's Right. Oh, I like this one because he's smiling and like the Captain Hook. So there, have a closer look. Let's go through all of its parts. So let's start from the top. So Peter Pan here is wearing his signature hat, the green one with the red feather on the left side. Then there at the front, you can see his hair, the red, brown hair, something like that. And his pointed ear. Look at that. The pointed, like elongated ear. Look at his facial expression. He looks so happy with that big smile on his face. Then going down on his body, he's wearing his usual costume with the brown belt. And look at his pose. He's raising his right leg with his foot on the bench here inside the ship. So there, can you see it, guys? Then going down on the ship and the base, just looks exactly the same as the Captain Hook. Just the same. Right, so there you go. Now let's move on to the next one that we've got here. So have a guess. Which one do I have here? Right, so here you go. It's the number one. It's Alice. So this one is Alice at the Mad Tea Party attraction. So there, so that's Alice's photo. So let's check this one out. Right, look at her. She looks gorgeous. So let's go through all of its details. So let's start from the top. So Alice here is wearing her black headband there with the ribbon on the top. And you can see that shiny yellow hair, the blonde hair. Then look at her face. She looks very thrilled with her ride. She's the only one with the eyes closed. Then going down on her body, of course, she's wearing a blue dress with a white apron. Then let's go through her ride. So as you can see, there's not much detail in it. I like the first few minutes that we've unboxed, but I really like the color. The purple with the white lining there on the top. Now I'm wondering, how does it feel like when you ride at the Mad Tea Party attraction? Because look at her face. She looks like having fun here. And there you go, guys. So which among all of those minis is your favorite? So for me, in my opinion, they're all 100% twin. But my favorite is this Captain Hook here because I'm really impressed with all of its details. So I think uh, Funko really did an amazing job with this one. So how about you guys? Which one is your pick? Just comment down below. And if you like our video for today, please hit the like button. And please don't forget to share and subscribe. So that's all for today. Bye. Thanks for watching.